Hi everyone, my name is Sister as well, and today we are going to talk about the ant logic gate in Happy Wheels. Now what does that mean? It means that if I trigger two actions, then one action is going to happen as a result of that. So let me explain with a simple example. Um, the light blue uh, thingy I'm standing on here is an elevator. Now we've got a button over there and a lever over there. So what we want to do is have two actions, already triggered one. Then we have the other right here, and that will trigger another action. So the end logic gate pretty much means I do this and I do that, and then that happens. So let me quickly explain how this works. As you can see, there's a thing over here that does all the mechanic work. Um, as you can see, if I pull the lever, one of the lines the ball is lying on is getting deleted. Same thing happens for when I push the button. And now the ball falls into a trigger that activates the elevator. And now it works. Okay, let's get into detail here. So what do we need? First thing, we need action one, which is the button. We need action two, which is the lever. And then we need the result, which is, in this case, the elevator. So let's go to action one. We've got a button. Um, it's falling into this trigger, uh, like this. So whenever I press it, it just falls on there. It's better to see in debug draw. Let's go. So uh, let that move away. There we go. It, it falls into the trigger. Uh, now the trigger's gone. So that's a great thing to see. And that trigger activates uh, the sound effects as well as the delete this shape. We got another trigger here too. So um, this moves into there, gets deleted because it's activated. Activates the sound effect and deletes that. Now keep in mind that if you do this, you have to set it to trigger by four. Only targets attached to this trigger, which is really easy because you can just attach the lever to this trigger. Um, that makes sure that the character doesn't touch it. So when I wouldn't do that, let's say it's triggered by one, I could, if I'm really skilled, trigger it without touching the lever. If you're not very familiar with Happy Wheels mechanics, another question you may have is why doesn't the elevator activate right away? Um, that is because I set the trigger to start disabled and what this trigger over here does when the ball falls into it is um, It makes this trigger go to enable Make sure to set it to enable trigger and not to activate trigger because since the trigger is disabled That's not gonna work. So enable. So yeah, it's a really simple mechanic, but um, now you know how to make it An end logic gate. Thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed my tutorial, subscribe for more tutorials, and I hope to see you next time.